Uh, here we have a collection of communications equipment uh, that would be used on just about every airplane that flew in World War II. This is called the SCR-274 or also the uh, ARC-5 uh, suite of radio equipments that would be used uh, on, on every aircraft from a fighter plane all the way up to a bomber. Now, it was designed by the Aircraft Radio Corporation located here in New Jersey up in the Booton area and when war broke out uh, they had to produce literally hundreds of thousands of these pieces of radio equipment uh, and in, in addition to aircraft radio building them uh, they were built by Western Electric uh, and many other manufacturers uh, throughout the country. Now, the unique part of the uh, equipment is that it can be reconfigured for just about any particular uh, use uh, depending on the uh, tactical operations. Over here we have three receivers. We have two transmitters, and we have a dynamotor modulator power supply for the transmitter. Now, the aircraft power is basically 28 volts direct current, and these are all vacuum tube pieces of equipment, so they need higher voltages to operate properly. Now, that is obtained by small motor generators called dynamotors. And each one of these receivers has a dynamotor on the back of it that provides the high voltage uh, developed from the 28 volts uh, aircraft supply. So these are rotating motor generators uh, <coughs> used to provide the higher voltages. Now, uh, for several different purposes, we have a low frequency receiver here which was used for navigation. Now the pilot could pick up navigation signals to help him find his way around. Next to it is what's called a high frequency receiver or a short wave receiver for communicating uh, say uh, 50 miles or even back to base. And next to it is a VHF receiver up in the uh, 100 megahertz or so and this would be used for airplane to airplane communication. So if they're traveling in a group, this is a receiver that would be used for communicating plane to plane. This would be used for communicating to the tower, and this would be used for navigation. Over here, we have two transmitters. This would be the VHF transmitter that would be used for plane to plane talk. And this would be the shortwave transmitter uh, that would be used to communicate to the tower or to base. And this would be the control box, which would be mounted uh, within the pilot's reach. Uh, all the rest of the equipment would be uh, remotely located. Uh, in some planes, there would be uh, a radio operator, and this would be in the radio operator's station. In a fighter plane, uh, there would just be the pilot and the controls would be located somewhere in the cockpit and the radios would be located uh, elsewhere. These were excellent radios. Um, they did a tremendous job and after the war, uh, amateur radio operators grabbed them up by the, literally by the thousands and many of them are still in use today uh, by amateurs, by uh, shortwave listeners, or just enthusiasts like us. Uh, so this was a testimony to a very good basic design uh, that did its job well during World War II.